first coronavirus death reported so far in the U.S. White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany is conducting her first press conference. Her name, Breonna Taylor, say his name, George Floyd. The conversation about racism in America has gripped the world. Ruth Bader Ginsburg has died. Next Supreme Court nominee, Judge Amy Coney Barrett. Same-sex marriage, suddenly a hot topic at the U.S. Supreme Court. Uh, eliminating an Obama-era regulation prohibiting discrimination in health care against transgender patients. Faith-based adoption organizations to deny their services to LGBTQ couples. The whole country is seeing rollback in rights and our immigrant communities, our people of color communities are all feeling this pain right now. So we are trying our hardest to fight back against the laws that create inequality and trying very hard to promote those that will level the playing field for all people in this country. The impact about being trained by Keshet is that there's an on-ramp to be able to understand the effects of lobbying and how to fight against using religion to fight against equality and to fight against freedom. I, first of all, want to be a voice for people who don't have a voice. Talk to people who can really make a difference on a legislative level. That this isn't even up for debate. That people don't use religion as a way to take people's rights away, but instead to propel the world forward. want people to feel that they belong to the community, they have to feel known and accepted for their authentic selves. Because of Keshet, our community is now a more inclusive, embracing community of people with LGBTQ identities. We are grateful to Keshet that they helped us to do this through expanding our library to provide resources that are LGBTQ inclusive, to update our website, and then actually to change our physical space in ways that reflect who we want to be, what our culture is, and how important LGBTQ inclusivity is to us. Because of Kesha, our congregation is now stronger and more relevant. I was in a very difficult place. I was struggling also a lot with internalized transphobia, and I believe that it was some kind of punishment. And so at the Shabbaton, it was the first time that I saw my transness as a holy thing and not an abomination. My life has been so transformed by this group and these experiences. And I think that an organization like Keshet is doing the work to bridge the gap and prove that you can be trans and Jewish. Keshet's done a great job at maintaining virtual programs. It's important to have these little safe spaces where folks get to connect. 2020, to me, more than anything, has meant transcendence. All of this difficulty and struggle to emerge, rising above it. It's all of our responsibility, frankly, anybody who's part of a Jewish community, how we can help everyone feel included and that they have something of value to offer to the community and that they belong to the community. Thank you.